Go ahead, Peter. Thank you very much. Uh, to follow up on Ed's questions about the Supreme Court yep. uh, action today, President Biden once said in 1983 he thought court packing Whoa. was time a, back machine. Oh yeah, uh, he said he thought that court packing was a bonehead idea when FDR tried it. So why ask a panel now to go and see if it is a good idea? Well, first, he's uh, the panel is being asked to do a number of take a number of steps, including the pros and cons on exactly that issue. But they will also be looking at the court's role in the constitutional system, the length of service and turnover of justice on the court, justices on the court, the membership and size of the court, and the court's case selection rules and practices. And the makeup of this commission, which was vital for the president, uh, what is there are progressives on the court, there are conservatives on the court, people will present different opinions and different points of view, and then they'll have a report at the end of 180 days. Okay, and then about immigration, the U.S. government is now reportedly spending $60 million a week to shelter migrant children. That adds up to $3.1 billion in a year. Where is that money coming from? Well, first I would say that, as you may recall, the prior administration requested and received nearly $3 billion in supplemental funding from Congress for the UC program back in 2019. That came after the previous administration had already made multiple transfers of hundreds of millions of dollars. And our commitment is to ensuring uh, HHS has the funds it needs now to safely and humanely care for children, which of course is resource intensive. We know that. There are 200 permanent shelters around the country, and there are needs related to the pandemic, social distancing, uh, enhanced ventilation and testing that are additional needs given the time that we're living in. And because of the time that we're living in, is there concern if this is HHS money that it is uh, that these shelters, that the Washington Post says the costs are going to rise significantly, that the shelters might be draining pandemic response elsewhere? No, that, that is not what our concern is um, We uh, at all. Uh, we have funding for the pandemic response. Uh, I'm just conveying to you what we feel this cost is and why it is uh, at the rate it is at this point in time. And then just one more. Uh, Texas Governor Greg Abbott says that he asked the Biden administration to shut down the temporary shelter for migrant kids at the Freeman Coliseum in San Antonio because he says he has gotten information that children there are being sexually assaulted. Is that facility going to be shut down? Well, first, we take safety and the well-being of children uh, in our care very seriously, uh, hence our earlier conversation about the funding spent to keep them safe during the pandemic. Um, he, we are, uh, his claims will be looked into uh, and investigated by the Department of Health and Human Services. Currently, we have no basis for his call to shut down the uh, Freeman, the San Antonio Freeman Coliseum as an intake site, but we will, of course, we take these uh, this uh, these allegations seriously, and they will be investigated. And the last one would just be: you said this week that uh, you guys are trying to make the processing more efficient and effective, and that you're addressing this in a humane way that keeps these kids as safe as we possibly can. If these allegations are true, how is that consistent with? What you guys are well, again, trying. we are looking into these allegations. We take them seriously, and our focus remains on the safety and well-being of children. Hence, we're looking into them and taking it very seriously.